Donald Trump accused Governor DeSantis of abandoning Florida as homeowners struggle. Get home and take care of insurance because you have the highest insurance in the nation. Former President Donald Trump has vehemently criticized Governor Ron DeSantis's approach to the Florida insurance market, condemning what he sees as protections for insurance companies that disadvantage state residents, particularly those hit by hurricanes. Trump labels DeSantis supported legislation as a historic insurance company bailout, arguing it intensifies homeowners' financial distress. Extending his rebuke to legislative actions, Trump singles out House Bill 837 and Senate Bill 236, which potentially make it harder for Floridians to legally challenge their insurers. This approach, Trump suggests, prioritizes corporate interests and may further inflate already rising insurance premiums. Trending. Searching for a homeowner's insurance policy? Here are the top companies still offering insurance in Florida. Within the Florida legislature, a divide is evident among Republicans. Some caution that such legislation leans excessively toward insurer benefits, which contradicts claims that litigation reduction will lead to lower premiums. There's concern that, contrary to proponents' arguments, these initiatives have not curbed premium hikes, to the detriment of individual and small business policyholders. Trump's critique includes DeSantis's insurance commissioners accusing them of facilitating the worst insurance scam in the entire country by endorsing rate increases and implying their inaction exacerbates Floridians' plight. Time equals 400 ms. Greater than amidst these tensions, in July, Trump sharpened his attacks at the Turning Point Action Conference in West Palm Beach. He accused DeSantis of abandoning Florida's insurance crisis for national campaigning emphasizing Florida's high insurance rates and urging DeSantis to refocus on state issues. Trump didn't hesitate to assert his superiority in Florida nor to allege that DeSantis's actions were splintering the Republican Party and that his political influence was waning. He stated, we are totally dominating DeSantis right here in the state of Florida. So, we want him to get home and take care of insurance because you have the highest insurance in the nation. Trump was correct. Homeowners' insurance rates in Florida are nearly triple the national average. These critiques come as Florida's insurance sector faces a retreat, with firms leaving because of natural disaster risks. The state's insurance market crisis, fueled by widespread insurance fraud and vulnerability to natural disasters, culminates in a precarious situation with fewer insurers willing to take risks, leading to less competition and higher premiums for homeowners. Florida's insurance market crisis is multifaceted, exacerbated by rampant insurance fraud, particularly fraudulent roofing claims. This, combined with the state's vulnerability to weather-related damages, has led to a precarious situation where insurers are increasingly unwilling to bear the risk, resulting in a market with less competition and higher premiums for homeowners.